Okay, so here we plotted the high temperatures for July 2021. Now we're going to plot the data for the entire year. And so remember that you need to load this CSV file into your local cloud directory. And you do that by clicking this upload button in the upper left hand corner and then finding your file and uploading it. So let's go ahead and run it. And then we're going to look at the head and we see that it's exactly the same except that it's going to start on January 1st. It's exactly the same in terms of columns. Okay, and we look at the shape and then there are 364 corresponding to 364 days in the year. And then just as we did before, we're gonna set dates and then we're gonna set highs and then we're going to plot, except that this time we're gonna plot every 30th date. Right? So the X axis isn't uh, full of stuff. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we have this little bit of code right here which actually puts it sideways, as you can see here. And so that way that you can see these better. Okay, so here we have the daily high temperatures for all of 2021. And as an analyst, you can now start looking at this, of course, and saying, oh, look, you know, around July, it's a lot hotter, as you would expect, right? Because those are the summer months. And then in December, January, February, it's a lot colder. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and also plot the lows. So we do this exact same thing. Now we're going to set lows to be the minimum. So the T min, if you'll recall, is the minimum temperature on every day. So we just pull it out. And here we have the highs are going to be in red, okay? And the lows, not the highs, okay, are going to be in blue, okay? So we plot it again. We set X ticks once again to be every 30th date. And then everything else here you've seen before. Set title, set X label, having the figure have this date in, in a horizontal format, sort of in sideways. So here we have the highs and we have the lows. Okay, now we're gonna use learn a new function. We wanna shade in the area between the high and low, and we're gonna use fill between to do that. So we do everything that we did before and now here we fill between and we're gonna use face color blue. So it's gonna be blue and then alpha is about transparency. So it's going to be a little bit lighter than you would expect if it were just dark blue. Okay, so we'll see how that looks like. And so now we have this pretty looking graph with daily high and low temperatures in this place in Alaska. And so now we're going to move on to plotting earthquake data on a map.